Welcome to VMworld's Carbon Blacks video series. My name is Shira Rubinoff, and I'm here with Scott Lundgren, Vice President and Chief Technology Officer at VMware Carbon Black. Scott, it's a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure. Can you please share with our audience a little bit about what you've done in your career and what you're currently doing in your role today? Yeah, of course. So I think um, from the perspective of explaining what I do today, it's actually just like you said, it's best to think about where I came from. And so I spent the first uh, five or 10 years of my career uh, on what I'd say is the offensive side of the ball. So as a red teamer and as a pen tester and as someone ultimately trying to both build and use tools to break into networks for good reason uh, and understand their weaknesses and be able to help increase the security posture. And so then for the last 10 years at Carbon Black and now as part of VMware, it's all been about trying to apply that learning and that mindset into building the best possible set of defensive capabilities. So as we've all seen, cybersecurity technologies and solutions have undergone a rapid advancement over the past decade or so, and certainly the pace of change and sophistication, it looks like it'll only accelerate from here. Being as such, what do you think will define the future of cybersecurity technology? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And so, Loaded question. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so I think a step back and, and kind of key on your, your last decade point. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, computing power has, of course, increased. And the diversity or the heterogeneity of systems and how they're connected, that's all increased. And so all of that has resulted in, obviously, a huge increase in attack surface area, how the bad guys can do what they want to do and how they do it. And also, of course, enabled a great set of new defensive capabilities and tools. And so it's just this fun space to be in uh, and to play kind of this never ending cat and mouse game. Uh, so then now to pivot to say, OK, how, how does the next set of years look like? What do things look like going forward? You know, ultimately, digital technology is here, of course, to serve society. And so, you know, we're here to help secure that digital technology, to secure that digital infrastructure. And so what won't change, of course, is our focus as an industry on trying to make sure that we are providing the right capability, um, the right services to the world to use, of course, right? Like that's how modern way of life depends on. So now underneath that, what changes? I think there's a lot more focus on speed, um, on the defender. How do we increase the uh, rapidity with which as defenders, we can identify a threat, react, uh, address it. Uh, get it fixed and move on to the next thing, knowing that the systems have to get more complicated, the attacks get more complicated, we have to get uh, a lot faster and a lot better. And I'm excited to see what the world will bring. I think there's a lot of great stuff to come. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> and as we know, every organization needs to stay at the forefront of new technology advancements. So what do you think it takes to stay on the cutting edge of cybersecurity today? That's a that's a huge question, right? So uh, maybe I'll just I'll give kind of a two part answer. Yes. Uh, I'll start with our vegetables, so the 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 kind of the less fun stuff, um, but absolutely essential. So as security teams, um, you know what we'd like to do is spend all of our time focused on the exciting, right? The identifying the the great attack, the sophisticated attack, the targeted attack, uh, the really sophisticated stuff that we know is happening in our environment. That's what we'd like to do. But of course, we're bogged down by a huge amount of you know, vegetables, right? The hard work, the operational work of just making sure everything's running. And so I think uh, starting with an emphasis on blocking and tackling, um, both with processes and procedures, but also with tooling, uh, offloading as much as possible outside of you know, our own team and being able to push that on uh, you know, your set of partners, your set of vendors, just, um, you know, anywhere you can do upstream to get that out of the way to allow you to really focus on the really cool stuff. That's really essential. And I wish there was, you know, there's a nice silver bullet that makes that all go away. But as we all know, vegetables are vegetables, right? You got to do it the hard way. And so I think that focus is all the more important. Um, then, of course, there's also the really good stuff, right? Um, how do you make sure that you're thinking about um, a modern attacker centric world or maybe the view of the attacker, right? Um, some a big common set of themes are around supply chain attacks, uh, island hopping, that sort of thing. But ultimately, it's all about uh, understanding genuinely where's the attacker go going today, and also tomorrow when targeting your organization, and how do you make sure you have the right tools in, in place to to help you with that? Interesting. I want to just delve into the vegetables for a moment, if you don't mind. <laughs> Excellent. So when we talk about vegetables, as you put it, we talk about the partnerships, we talk about the different vendors used, how important, obviously trust is key factor, but how important does 
VMware Carbon Black take the level of trust when dealing with uh, partnerships as well as vendors? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so, so this is, um, you know, this is something that I feel like the combination of Carbon Black and VMware uh, is really complementary. And so as Carbon Black as a standalone security company, of course, like our focus on uh, how do we secure our ecosystem, both internal, you know, the, the vendors that we use, ultimately we're an organization as well, uh, but also external with our partners in the community and our customers. That's really top of mind for us, of course, we're a security company. Um, and then coming to VMware, uh, which is, you know, this, this great presence in the marketplace and a really strong foundation um, and uh, history of engineering, of rigor, of focus, of paying attention to all the details and getting them right, of building systems that are just foundational for all sorts of great stuff that the world depends on. There's no room for error in that. And so you take those two philosophies and put them together. And it's been, it's been really great in terms of an easy match uh, for a focus on what's right and what's important for everyone. Oh, very true. So we talk about that the customer and prospect needs drives development and advancement of security and technology solutions, what they want, what we need to create. What cybersecurity needs on the part of customers as well as prospects are driving the development of VMware Carbon Black solutions? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, so too many to list, of course, but maybe I highlight just a couple. Uh, so first, uh, a big theme uh, for, for Carbon Black as part of VMware, uh, really exciting theme, is about kind of extending um, the set of capabilities that we offer, but being able to put them in the hands of a different audience. Mm -hmm. So Carbon Black, as, as a standalone company, we've traditionally focused strongly on the security team, on the security operations center or the SOC. And that's been our kind of our laser focus. And that a lot of goodness comes out of that. And we stand by that. And we're really proud of that. Um, as part of VMware now, we have, we have a, this, this fantastic audience of being able to bring together the cap or bring the capabilities that we've offered traditionally within Carbon Black and pre present them to a different uh, set of users or set of people, ultimately, that are operating infrastructure, you know, virtual infrastructure in particular, uh, within VMs, vSphere, rather, and VMware Cloud Foundation, uh, VMC. And that is really exciting because we can, you know, bring that all to bear. And so you have a single set of truth or a single source of truth, a single set of, okay, what's vulnerable or where's a threat or what has been prevented. And then be able to present that in the right console in the right way um, for the right people at the right time. And that's really neat in terms of just extending our breadth and our, and our impact and our reach. So that's on, on maybe one edge. I'll flip all the way forward, maybe to, to the, to the other side. Um, I think it's uh, really important to focus on, of course, starting the groundwork, building, these are our vegetables in, internally to Carbon Black, so starting the, the R&D, the investment, the engineering on our side to defend against tomorrow's threats today. Uh, product doesn't build itself in a day, of course, and so we have, to, we have to be ready for that and be able to see ahead. And so having such a rich ecosystem of partners in the incident response space, and in the uh, managed security service provider space, other partners of that nature that are right in the, right in the uh, trenches every day looking at the most sophisticated attacks, combine that with our own first party understanding and be able to think through that. Um, we've got customers you know, asking us, oh, hey, I'm seeing this really sophisticated thing today, where can that lead to tomorrow? And then us being able to like, you know, drive the defensive capabilities, detection, prevention, response, et cetera. Uh, that's really neat stuff too. And it, it's great to deal with those customers that are really uh, you know, in that most sophisticated part of the tip of the spear, so to speak. Oh, that's great because we look at security today and there are a lot of companies that deal with reactive type of security or other ones that deal with proactive. And I know in Carbon Black, you focused on both being both reactive as well as being proactive, being a step ahead of the game. And it's great to see that VMware Carbon Black is on the same trajectory. So um, just, to like, yeah. <laughs> just to close out, you know, there's a lot of news discussing Carbon Black's debut at VMworld. What is something that you are most excited about? Um, any specific product updates you'd like to announce or share with us? We get in the little secrets now. Yeah, the trend today for your questions is um, how can I ask questions with 200 answers? And so there's so much to say. So well, you're dialing in beautifully. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. So if I, if I narrow it down to just one, um, look, like take a step back. Um, VMware, being part of VMware is just fantastic. It's fantastic for Carbon Black. It happens to be fantastic for me. Like I, I love it, the ability to kind of project what we've built um, at Carbon Black to this you know, much broader audience. It's just, it's really amazing. And so then if you, if you look at it from that back lens, right, that big broad lens, what is one thing that VMware is known for, you know, just amazingly known for? 
the power of virtualization. It's right in the name, VMware. Um, so a hyper, from a technology point of view, the hypervisor, the ability to um, take a whole set of virtual machines, virtualize the hardware, virtualize the machine, uh, and expose that out and all the powerful IT capabilities that come with that. As a CTO of a technology company, being able to take advantage of the hypervisor from a security perspective, I mean, I get it, I'm a geek, but that's the coolest thing possible. And so it's really, really exciting. And so to be able to say, hey, not just can I secure virtual machines with all the great tech that Carbon Black is known for, now we can bring all that tech and augment it operationally and from a security perspective uh, by being able to take advantage of the hypervisor itself. And so, you know, from a security perspective, that's like being able to step out of what I would call the contested ground between the good guys and the bad guys within the, the machine itself. Step out of that, look at it from the hypervisor perspective and do that from a privileged enclave. It's fantastic. No one else can do it. And I'm really excited to be able to announce that at VMworld uh, this year. Thank you very much for sharing that. Super exciting news. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today and sharing all your words of wisdom and your information that you've gathered and knowledge with our audience. And I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Of course, it's my pleasure as always.